laboratory diagnosis of aplastic anemia, complete blood count. In the complete blood count, we will find a decrease in all elements, RBCs, anemia, white blood cells, leukopenia, and platelets rhombocytopenia. So it's called band cytopenia. Also decrease in the reticulocyte count. Reticulocytes in the peripheral blood is an indicator of the productivity of the bone marrow. Some instruments will uh, give us the count of reticulocytes, automated cell counter, and you can see uh, also reticulocytes by supravital stains, uh, staining of the uh, peripheral blood by specific stains called supravital stains, brilliant glycine clue. Prefer platform, we will find uh, normal cytic, normal chromic anemia. So, normal cytic, normal chromic red blood cells, as you can see here, central pallor is less than one third. We can see also uh, uh, decrease in white blood cells and decrease in platelet count in the uh, prefer blood smear. Uh, bone marrow aspiration, bone marrow aspiration, taking a bone marrow fluid, uh, uh, it's not diagnostic because uh, the sample of the bone marrow aspiration, uh, the would be diluted by blood so it is not conclusive and not diagnostic but the confirmative test is the bone marrow biopsy bone marrow to refine biopsy taking a tissue bone marrow tissue it is confirmatory and mandatory for diagnosis in the bone marrow biopsy examination we will find that the bone marrow is hypoplastic decreasing in the cellularity decrease in the cellularity of the uh, marrow as the red marrow is decreased while the fat is increased more than uh, 75%. You can see here's fat, all of these white spaces, yeah. fat increased, while that of the dark or red marrow is decreased.